This is Professor Rudy, and this video is on the topic of using matrices in MATLAB. So what a matrix is, is a way of storing multiple values uh, in what's called a two-dimensional array. So before we had talked about vectors, so that's like a, a string of values, um, and that can either be a row vector, um, which is like a 1 by n, uh, or a column vector, which is like an n by 1. Well, a matrix then can be any dimension by any dimension. So you could have a 3 by 2, for example. So let's just create one of these. Um, we can do that by, in our command window, typing a equals. So we can use any variable name, just like we can for vectors or scalars. And just like for vectors, we use square brackets to define a matrix. And then we just want to enter in our values. So I'm just going to pick some numbers here. And we can separate these values by commas. And if we do commas in here, um, that will separate the values as we go across the row. And once we're done entering in our first row, we want to use a semicolon. And that will bring us to our next row in the matrix. And we do this all in one line. And then we could enter in these values. Let's say 3, 9, 7, 1. You can also just have values in a row separated by spaces. So commas or spaces, I've shown both here. And the semicolon will be what drops us to the next row. So if I look at this then, now we have a 2 by 4 matrix. And then once we have a matrix like this, um, for vectors we reference values in that vector uh, using just one argument. But for a matrix, now that we have rows and columns, we want to give that two arguments. So if I want to look at the second row and the first column I use within parentheses 2 comma 1 and then I can look at what that value is so that is picking out the second row first column which would be this 3 um, so then we could do the same thing and look at the first row third column and that'll get this 4 here first row third column now we can also use in addition to just looking at single entries, we can look at uh, an entire row, for example. So if we wanted to look at the second row of that matrix, we do this. We have A, and for the row argument, the first argument is row, and the second argument is column. So for row, I know I want the second row. But for the column, then, I'm going to just use a colon. And what that colon will do is just give me every value in that column. So or every column in that row. So that is the second row of the matrix, right? 3, 9, 7, 1 is the second row. We can do the same thing for a column. If we want to look at the third column, let's say, I just use that colon in the row command in the row argument. So colon comma 3 would give me the third column, and that's that 4, 7. So just to show you, third column, 4, 7. We can also look at um, a set of values in the matrix. So what if we wanted to look at basically the values in the middle? And we could do that by saying we want, within A, we want rows 1 and 2. So we could say rows 1 and 2, and then columns 2 and 3. If I do that, that'll grab that middle piece out of the matrix. So let's just bring our A up again. So that grabbed the first and second rows and the second and third columns. So you can get a, a sub-matrix out of your main matrix. So next I want to use a, a certain special matrix just as an example. Um, this is a square matrix and we can generate this um, using the magic function in MATLAB which creates a magic matrix which what's special about this is that if you sum up the rows or columns or the diagonal, you'll get the same number. So for a 3 by 3 magic matrix, they should all add up to 15. So you can check that if you like. Um, but this is just an example matrix that I'm going to use to do some calculations. Um, one common function that we like to calculate for a square matrix is its inverse. To do an inverse of a matrix in MATLAB, you use INV. And we do INV 
of that matrix and then it'll calculate the inverse so this we can use to explicitly get what that inverse equals um, we can also use this in a calculation so let's take a look at what inverse of a times a equals and that's giving us the identity matrix which is what we expect some other functions that are useful uh, we could look at the diagonal values in a matrix so we can use the diag command so just short for diagonal and that will give us the diagonal values in that matrix so um, just bring the a matrix back up so the diagonal components 8 5 2 and that's what that diag statement will give us another very useful um, operator that we can use for a matrix is the transpose and transpose is just a single quote and if we do that what that will do is uh, basically it flips the rows and columns around for a matrix um, and this is useful um, not only for square matrices but it's also useful for vectors it's how you can turn a row vector into a column vector and vice versa um, and in general it's you take a an M by N matrix and then it becomes an N by M matrix so you flip the rows and columns it's also useful to um, sometimes use matrix multiplication and if you remember from vector operations um, sometimes you you hit issues with that so if I wanted to do a times a what that will do is that will multiply the matrix a by the matrix a using matrix multiplication whereas if I do a dot times a which we use for vector operations sometimes that's going to do things element by element and if we do that we're going to get a different result so we see this a dot times a is just taking each element times the corresponding element in the other matrix and since they're the same um, this is where we'll get 8 times 8 is 64 um, and so on there well that was the transpose but uh, 1 times 1 is 1 6 times 6 is 36 and that's where these values are coming from and it's not the same thing as multiplying the matrix by the matrix so you need to be careful in your equations and make sure you know um, which one you're using um, so let's do another example if we have a vector B um, and we'll create this real simple 1 2 3 so we could do matrix multiplication a times b a is a 3 by 3 b is a 3 by 1 so we can get our result which will also be a 3 by 1 if we try to do dot multiplication we will get an error because the inner or the sizes of those do not agree um, if you're using dot multiplication you need to have things that are the exact same size so a 3 by 3 can only dot multiply another 3 by 3 this is also true for um, the exponent operator so a squared is just like doing a times a and a dot caret squared is like doing each element of a squared um, and then there is comparable results for division as well um, so that is just a basic introduction to matrices